Good morning. morning again from our second full day in London. Super excited. I know. We're getting ready to go explore central London mm -hmm. today. We found a website called freetoursbyfoot.com uh, and they offer walking maps and things like that for self-guided exploration or you can actually go take a free tour with a local mm -hmm. who will teach you stuff. The tour is free, but they do work and live off of your gratuity, Correct. so make sure you do tip. And we're going to go get some money to exchange to do the just yeah. that, actually. Yeah, we're not just going to take a free tour, uh, but absolutely we not. appreciate. So <laughs> it's about a two and a half or three hour tour. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited to explore Same, some yeah. central London. So that's Ready what, to take in all the sights. Yeah, we're going to exchange <laughs> some money, get some breakfast, mm -hmm. and meet up with the tour. Whoop, whoop. Come with us. <laughs> Let's see what breakfast establishment catches our attention this morning. A giant dinosaur has caught my attention out here, but uh, yeah. There's Lane Street Coffee. Okay. There's like. I think it's called Black, Black Sheep Street down Coffee. this way. And there's a pastry shop there. There's literally wow. like five places in the morning. Decisions, decisions. Uh, there's Pattaya. That's where we had uh, dinner yesterday. There's Greg's. I think we're just going to go down here to Black Sheep. Ooh, a little bit of a line. That's a good sign. We got big old tablets to order from. That's handy. Oh, there's their breakfast items. That's not bad. They got sausage rolls. I've had a lot of sausage rolls. They're good. <laughs> well, they got tons of sections. Okay, pastries, bagels, toasties, Norwegian waffles. Wow. That's cute. Hashtag leave the herd. They've got a little pastry case over there. Mostly outdoor seating, a couple of indoor slots though. Well, I got an iced Americano and Dee has gone with a cute little latte. They gave you a heart this morning. Well, I've got an all day breakfast hot wrap. Dee has gone with a little cheese toasty in there. <laughs> now I didn't realize when we were ordering, we got their Robusta blend, which is twice the caffeine, but less acidity. So um, we should be jazzed up and ready, ready for to today. Ready to run all over London. This is really good. It has like dark chocolate notes too. Like enjoying this coffee a lot. We're exploring the world of a cheese toasty. Okay, yeah, so cheese on the outside. Oops. That's not hot and awkward at all, but it looks delicious. <laughs> oh man, it has sausage, bacon, streaky bacon, of course, egg, and ketchup in a tortilla. Look at this guy's manhandling this dinosaur. Oh my gosh. Uh, Victoria Embankment Garden. That's what I was trying to get us down to yesterday. Well, we finally figured it out and found a staircase that's open. <laughs> but our meeting point today is the Temple Tube Station. Oh, crossing underneath Waterloo. I do like that at every crosswalk they remind you whether you need to look right or look left before you cross. That's awesome. There we have Temple Station. Wahoo! Okay, we are all checked in. She said there are 36 people signed up for this tour, but people always no show because yes. it is free. So people like wake up and go, eh, I don't want to do that and bail. But we should have a nice little group walking around today. It's perfect weather too. Not too hot, not too cold. A little overcast, but not rainy. Good to you. I like it. Yeah. Oh, she's got a nice little speaker and everything. That's awesome. So welcome, by the way, to Free Tours by Foot if you haven't met me before, my name is Sinead. Sinead like Sinead O'Connor. Now, in the middle, we'll be taking a little break, though. We'll take like a 20-minute break. We can get a restroom. You can fill your water bottles. And we're going to start all the way back to 2,000 years of history. City all right, off we go. Oh, yeah, group crossings of the street. If you look at the front of my ladies and gents, that is Gringotts uh -huh. back. Gringotts? Oh, oh, there they are. Oh, <laughs> the Harry Potter fans made themselves known. We all know now, don't we? <laughs> Would you believe, studying for a degree as an accountant in there in 1962, this still blows my mind, Mick Jagger, ladies and gents, and the Rolling Stones. But thankfully, Brian Jones discovered the swagger of Jagger, or else we wouldn't have had 70 years of one of the best rock and roll bands in history. Now, they're quite welcoming inside these places. Do you want to have a quick look inside, just very quickly? Open and welcome to come in. That's awesome. We'll get a quick peek in here. Look at that. So she's not... Yeah, I saw they had contactless mm -hmm. donation acceptance there. Look at that. Tap to donate. Alright, I guess we'll sneak back outside and carry on. Wow. Yeah, pretty Germanic. Oh, yeah. This is some of the leftover uh, shelling damage of World War II, I guess. Wow. 
Oh, we have Twining's over there, which I guess is perhaps the oldest tea shop in the city. We're also getting ready to walk by a dragon up here, which marks the division. We are leaving the city of Westminster, entering the city of London proper. Yeah, we're just, you know, admiring all this architecture. Oh, it's in the Guinness Book of Records. So this building is the Royal Courts of Justice. All right, onward to the dragon. Welcome to London. Now, gin palaces are just very elegantly decorated pubs, Narrowest essentially. Tavern. It goes all the way back to the 1600s. It's the oldest statue in the city of London, Elizabeth I. Going down to the hallway. This is something to do with Sweeney Todd, I'm a little afraid. <laughs> You're familiar with Sweeney Todd? What happened? Oh, Fleet Street, yeah. Not a true story. All right, we made it out with our heads intact. <laughs> Onward. Let's dip in somewhere else. Johnson's Court. Leading to Dr. Johnson's house. These are quite. It's very quiet back here. So we're off to meet Dr. Johnson's cat. That sounds like something we would do. <laughs> oh, I think I see it. Uh, an essayist, a novelist, a philosopher, a poet. But the reason we're here is I want to introduce you to this little chap. Hello, Down little here. chap. Hodge, the talking cat. Get a little closer. <laughs> Ooh, just think of how many feet through history have walked on these stones. Wear comfy shoes. Yeah, well, true. Comfy shoes are a must. And it's quite simple. It's All a you talking do is statue. Scan your camera oh. Against the barcode here. You can get a phone call from a cat. Ah. I did not know this was a thing, so there's like 30 some odd talking statues. You can hear Hodge here. This one was rebuilt in 16. But the fascinating thing is the wine cellars in the basement survived the Great Fire because mm. underground and they date back to the 12th century. But what they do is they put a list of every king and queen that has reigned since it opened its doors to the present day. The prospect of Whitby have it as well. Um, but this one, they have yet this side to change it from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II mm. to King Charles III. But the one on the main road on the outside has been changed. So you've got a bit of both. It's a bit bittersweet. But let's have a walk past. Rebuilt 1667. Mm. Ah, there's the list she was talking about. Back out to the street. Ah, Charles the Third. We come to St. Bride's Church. The church was the inspiration for the very first tiered wedding cake. Well, it says they offer free entry to their crypt, chapels, and museum. Oh, that's where we're headed. Oh, this is cool. Welcome to the crypt. Yeah, I guess that's where we're going. Oh, the lighting in here is fighting with the camera. Oh, wow, look at all this. Oh, so we got five or six minutes of free time in here. This is artifacts from, I guess, different incarnations and builds of the churches that were presumably on this site. Like this is the 12th century case. Crazy how like yeah. Like just that it's right here to look at. It's amazing. Let's see, this goes back to like 11th, there's 6th through 10th centuries, the Roman period, ooh. Mm. This other side was called the Medieval Chapel. Oh, then I 
guess it continues down this way. Oh, wow, safety for the dead. And she was explaining how you could pay more to have your relatives, I guess, buried deeper to protect them from grave robbers and such back in the day. Now let's head back out toward the courtyard. All right, one more quick bask before we head outside. Contrast of going from inside the church to back out into the city. The old bell. There's all kinds of cute little taverns and things. Oh, there's so much to look at in London. Yeah, there really is. Oh, I like the coloration on that one. Wow. Oh gosh, speaking of coloration, okay. <laughs> Noon time. Welcome to St. Paul's, officially. Building 51 churches here in London after the Great Fire. 21 of them still exist to this day. This, the masterpiece. You can visit inside, but you can also attend a Christian service. You are welcome to attend any Christian service in this country. It applies to all of the churches. It's also where Mary Poppins fed the birds, ladies and gents, on the steps here as well, that you all remember from that very famous scene. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna make our way around the back side now and then have a mini break. This is pretty green space over here. I like that. There's our view from the other side. Oh, you can see people walking around on the dome. So she said you could either climb a bunch of stairs up to get a view, or we could take an elevator in the neighboring building. And, hey, elevator it is. Well, we are going to go down first, because there are free toilets and water bottle filling stations down here, which is perfect. Still in parking water for Wahoo! There you go, that is awesome. Bottle filling station. We brought our collapsible bottle, which of course is in our Amazon shop, perodj.com slash Amazon. Shame on self-promotion, but it's gonna come in handy. Well, now let's see if we can get a view from the top of the world. Six it is. Oh yeah, get some views on the way up. Ooh, a little party going on up here. Well, they've got it so you can't quite get all the way to the edge, I'm sure, just for safety's sake. But here we go. View from the top of the world. Actually, we're hoping to get a view from the top of the world a little later on, too. Stairs and ramps. Whoop, whoop. Let's see if we can make it back down and join the group again. All right, mini break is over. Let's continue. <laughs> There's old John Smith. There's your Captain John Smith, yeah. my lovely. Founder of modern day Virginia. Oh, Watling Street. Whoa, I'm bumbling along. Gotta watch my step. Come down to the Bloomberg building. Such an ambitious project. eight years But it's. So this is taking us down into the financial district. Mmm, Greg's. Slowly but surely making our way to London Bridge, which will be the end of this tour. That's a good sign. Here we go, ladies and gents, London Bridge. As she said, probably the most historic, but most underwhelming of the bridges in London. Now well, that I believe is the Shard, and we can see all the way down to Tower Bridge. Oh, a little windy out here, is to be expected, but we'll see if we can get our zoom in on Tower Bridge. Well, here is the view off the other side of London Bridge. Thank you very much. 
Well, let's do an update right here on the bridge. Why not? There, so yeah. this is the ending point of the tour. Mm -hmm. We are right here by the Shard, access to the South <laughs> Bank, Tower of London, Sky Garden. Lots of convenient areas to go to after you finish the tour. That's true. Yeah. Anyway, so how was your tour experience? Let's bring it in in case the <laughs> yeah, wind really is very windy. uh It was absolutely amazing. Like, Sinead knows everything. I learned so much history. Mm -hmm. I, I always suggest taking a tour because, like, we would just be walking around going, that's a cool building, but yeah. not knowing the history of it or anything about it. Um, she had a microphone, which was super helpful oh, because you could hear everything. She would bring us, like, like in a little private area so we could stop and look at things and she could talk and tell you about what you're seeing. Definitely recommend. It was absolutely amazing, and we're going to see her again tomorrow. She is leading our tour <laughs> that we're planning to do tomorrow, which is fantastic. Yeah. And just remember, it is uh, tips only, so, so make sure you do your gratuities. You know, she was fantastic. That's right. Go get your pound sterling, yes. your great British pounds. <laughs> Didn't tip accordingly. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, let's roll on and do stuff. Come on. <laughs> we are going to head back in the direction from whence we came and wander toward Tower of London. Absolutely. Well, we've come down to a little observation platform where we can actually look at London Bridge. There she is. Oh, we're getting closer. All hallows by the tower. Tower vaults. Tower itself. Man. Ah, Costa Coffee, KFC, gotcha. Well, we are in the mood for lunch, so we may as well grab something right here by the tower. This looks all right to me. Oh, a lot of words on here calling my name. Well, we started with some peach iced tea and some cherry blossom lemonade and some water. Oh, you got a big old bowl. What's the official word? Donberry. Okay. It's a rice, veggies, teriyaki chicken, pickled kimchi, some vegetables in my life are much needed. That looks <laughs> amazing. Yeah. You know me, I had to go for the chicken curry, of course. Oh, we are all fueled up now. Let's explore. Oh, all time slots are fully booked for today. It's about 2.15 and so they are full. So y'all, you might want to um, pre-book your tickets if you if you want to come. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't know exactly what time we were going to get over here. We were hoping to go at the window. There's the time slots for tomorrow. PG, it's okay, PG. Trying to give us comfort. <laughs> but yeah, you jump on here and you choose basically a 30-minute window that you'd like to arrive anytime between 9 and 3:30, and you can do the guided tours. I think it's the Yeomans or Beef Eaters that do the free tours. Once you've paid approximately 34 pounds, um, you know, admission, uh, we're going to be in the wrong area. Area tomorrow so we're not gonna get to do this tomorrow but yeah it looks like they're already really limited on their timing for tomorrow so if you know yeah if you know what time you will be in this zone which we didn't really pre-book your time slot that's that's a smart thing to do <laughs> Uh, we're still planning to walk around the outside here and look around, but we decided since we saved money here We are going to splurge and go see another West End show So we just hopped on and booked a good deal on tickets for Book of Mormon For tonight. We already have plans to see another one tomorrow, but now that's gonna make three West End shows in three days Good gracious So let us do a little Tower of London basking from outside can I say an observation? What's your observation? So I think the reason they're sold out is because there's probably like, I don't know, I've seen at least a dozen school groups here. True. It's the day after bank holiday. I think there's like field trips here today. So I think that's consuming a lot of the tickets and maybe that's not the norm. So well, anyway. possible. <laughs> but anyway, the lesson for today is book online ahead of time. Yeah. We just didn't know what time we'd be over here, so I didn't want to lock into a time slot. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a picture. Ah, uh, one day we will be back. London and we will go in your tower and we will see it and it will be magnificent uh, There's other things you can book tickets for I believe like the gunpowder plot and all that anyway Our next destination is this giant thing looming overhead known as Sky Garden Do you have tickets for that? We do have tickets. They're free <laughs> I think we're getting close to the right place there it is, coming into view in its full glory. That's tall. This looks like the official entry line down here. 
You can get in here by making restaurant reservations too, but we have officially scanned in and joined the Sky Garden free ticket line. You do have to reserve in advance. Don't just show up because walk-ins are not guaranteed. It's what, about three weeks before? Yeah. It's supposed to be like eight in the morning. Ours was a little bit after that, so you just have to keep checking. And yeah. Checking. yeah. Yeah, it's a jump on at least maybe four weeks ahead just to make sure, but yeah, it's it's their release schedule is a little strange. It's beautiful and really good views, so we're excited. Time to ride. Welcome to the 35th floor. Well, looks like they've got refreshments and stuff in here. Let's come see what we can see. All right, out onto the outside terrace. So we've done a good amount of city basking already today, but we'll at least have to do some peeking off each side. There's the Shard, the big tall building on the other side, which it does cost to go to the top of there on the South Bank. So this is kind of a cool, you know, free alternative. You just have to get in there and reserve them tickets on the website. Yeah, look at these views. Oh. That's my finger, sorry. <laughs> Looking off this side, we get sneaky little peeks down to the eye. Let's see if we can see it. Are you over there? Do, 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 do. <laughs> over there. Well, we've come over to the other side now. We can actually look down on the Tower of London. Hey, another angle of it. <laughs> well, now back inside, we have the actual garden part of the Sky Garden, I suppose. Of course, you can get all your city views on the way up, can't you? kind of a view of what the interior of this place looks like from afar. Uh, there is, I believe, a restaurant up there with a view as well. Let's make it to the top. Nice, yeah, I don't know what half of these buildings are. <laughs> I would need the Google. Oh, yeah. Help us, Google. They're really pretty, huh? They really are. Well, there are our views off of the back side of the building, as I would call it. Oh, like lots of little cafes and eatery things up here. That's awesome. It's bigger than I thought. It's bigger on the inside. Well, that's nice. It's like, please feel free to sit. Don't have to buy anything. That's awesome. Really nice. We get another peek off of this side. Hey. Yeah, if you come up to the top here, it's like less people, more unobstructed views. So that's good to know. We've got some light tunes bumping in here. <laughs> Down we go. Crocky, it's a jungle in here. <laughs> All right, we've joined the queue for the lift down. <laughs> Was that proper British? <laughs> and we're down, back to zero. All right, time to head. Probably back to the hotel for now. Happy, Happy fresh and clean. And evening. That's it. It is <laughs> evening mode. We are heading out to see Book of Mormon, as I talked about earlier. That was a last minute decision. You know, we're here. We might as well take in all the shows we can. And That's it was good. a really good deal. And I, I enjoy where the seats are going to be. Oh, yeah. yeah. What'd you use? It was an app called Today Ticks. Today Ticks. So they yeah. do like a lottery kind of thing or something similar to mm -hmm. it every day at 10 a.m. And they have like 25 pounds tickets and yeah. things like that. We didn't get that, but we didn't get, they weren't too much more than that. True. So. That's yeah. right. We didn't win the ticket lottery or not. anything like that. Well, it's not the, a lottery. What do they call it? Rush Rush deals, tickets. Them things. Basically, you have like a certain amount of time to buy the lower price tickets, but mm. they go like that. They so. did. Yeah, we're going to go get some food. And again, since we're going to a show, we're not going to take you with us. I'll do a little bit of pictures and recording yeah. on the phone again, maybe like yesterday. But no you know, just enjoy a little break <laughs> and you'll see us before you know it. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we have found Chinatown. Here? Yeah, this is us. We made it to Poppy's for fish and chips that we were told we could not miss. <laughs> Okay, I'm excited. So fish and chips all around. You went with? The cod. Cod. Mm -hmm. I went with haddock, I think was the other choice, yeah? All right, little fish here. I had to get mushy peas. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know if this is like apple, but it was recommended pentamins. Yeah, I did the normal, you know, Coke Zero, but I think you got something maybe a little more authentic than I did. From 1905. Hey. Well, mine's from 1885, I think, Coca-Cola. <laughs> All right, here we are. We got the malt, we got the ketchup, we got everything we need. Let me quit waving this phone around like a moron. Let's eat it. Yeah. it super cute in here, and I guess maybe it used to be some kind of a world famous coffee bar. They brought the receipt in a cute little basket, and they've given us um, some candies. This is fruit salad and 
Blackjack. Mm -hmm. Nostalgia candy. Nostalgia? Yeah, probably so. Back out into the world. We're officially in. See you in a while. All right, we are done with the show. Oh my gosh, iPhone vlog throwback. <laughs> it's all gorgeous and dark. They had distinct rules about not filming the curtain call, so there's yeah. no curtain call yeah. footage there. <laughs> Good night. Good night. We are back in. <laughs> I keep wanting to say the cabin. Nah, the room. It feels like one. It does. Um, Yo, know, we have had a heck of evening. Yeah. Our day, all told, how many steps did you get in? Um, I think it was like 15,000 something. Somewhere in there. Yeah. So it's, six and a half it's miles. Six and a half miles at least. So yeah. great town, city, beer, borough, whatever. You, all those London things. is amazing to walk in. There's so much you can see in just like a short amount of time. It's amazing. Yeah. So we had poppies for dinner, which <laughs> yeah. was good. The batter was a little under seasoned. Now this may be my American palate. Cause you know, <laughs> we love to go boom, boom with everything. Like seasoning. Yeah. yeah I kind of wish the batter was a little saltier. The peas were a little saltier. I added some salt to some stuff, but it, it was, was good. good. The, the cook yeah. on it was good. I just wanted a little bit more salt, but again, that could just be me. They had two sizes. The regular is plenty of food. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we got. I can't imagine what a large is like. Yeah, but it was good. I'd definitely go back. Yeah. Um, and then, Book of Mormon. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do a whole lot of research on PG. the show. It's definitely not for kids. It's or, written by the people that did South Park, correct. so you can imagine. But it was stinking hilarious, and they yeah. were so good at their characters. Like, it was amazing. Yeah. Watch out for profanity. Blasphemy and all that Some stuff. Some of the subject matters, yeah. But if you're cool. like, you know, kind of like, uh, can take a joke. <laughs> I guess. It's... Yeah, it's it's a great show. <laughs> yeah, we are going to bed now. We're getting ready to do some more walking tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. Um, so it's my last bed. day. I know, last full day tomorrow. <gasps> In London. Uh, anyway, join us tomorrow. Good night, y'all. <laughs> Bye.